So this is actually what we're going to do to use the Z remesher now. Just got a couple little bumps there. That's no problem, just the mask wasn't on 100% there. Not to worry. And we can come in now with something like the damn standard and just sort of encourage a few lines. So this is just cutting in some sharper lines to encourage. With the Alt key, remember, we can do the invert of that. So just get a bit of a sharper line there. And this is just to help out the Z remesher when we do the auto retopology, just to help it out a bit. And this will encourage some lines to go this way. Now there's other ways to do this and I'll cover those in some later sections, but we just want to, sorry, that was the wrong way. That one should be in. So in is the default. It doesn't have to be perfect. And around the horns, we can just encourage that to give us a bit of a hard line. It's just to help out the read topology tool, which is Z remesher. There we go. So something like that. And we're not going to be in too bad a place now. One thing, I do want to get sort of everything going. It does have some raised spots, but we'll do that later with the poly paint. And we've got some nostrils here. So let's have a look at the front view. Now, this is going to be a bit out now, but I'm just sort of worrying about, maybe do a little bit more. I'm just worrying about the read topology here now, doing that. So just, if you don't get your lines right, just undo them. Come in and Alt-G. That'll just get us into a place where we can see that now from the front view here. And looks like, go back to our image planes. I've just got those opacities that switched reset themselves a little bit. Okay, so now that we've pulled out the face, everything's gotten a bit fatter and the mesh isn't quite right, but I'm not gonna worry even too much about that now. I'm really worrying now about doing the retopology and getting that base mesh absolutely correct. So we're gonna come in and just draw in a little nostrils there, like these little peanutty shapes, something like that, on this high resolution mesh or fairly high resolution mesh. I'm not gonna worry about all these jaggy lines. This is the thing that everyone worries about, but actually it's not that bad. It's just Control click to invert that, and now we want to push these in. It's the same sort of thing as what I was doing with the mouth, except now we're just going to use the move. We're just going to hold down Alt and push that in. And that will be enough for the auto read topology to sort of notice that area. I can smooth it out a bit and to try and get some topology in there so that everything sort of works nicely. So there you go. That's pretty much it. One more thing from the side view. We do have a bit of a, a long thing there. Now I'm just going to be really lazy here. So you just get the H, H polish and you can polish that back. Let's try the clip curve here. So just go OK there. And this will assign that clip curve to the control and shift key. And if you click and drag and then let go of the control and shift keys, that means that you now don't snap. You can really just draw that exactly where you need it to go. Give it a bit of time. Now that will do that. Now that's kind of destroying your topology a little bit. Yeah, it's sort of... Yeah, a little bit nasty there, but uh, we're not going to worry too much about that because we now need to do our automatic retopology here. So let's have a look at this, take that image plane off. And that's the sort of mesh that we want to get our base mesh out. And now we simply hit the button. So make sure you save it here. So I'm going to save quickly. And then we just hit our Z remesh button. So let's do that. So this will take a little while, come up here. And I'm doing it at quite a high level, but if you've got a decent machine, it shouldn't take too long. A bit lazy. Some people do decimation and stuff here, but that's done a fairly decent job straight away. So let's have a look at it. That's just absolute default basics. And you can see it's even tried to follow those eyes fairly well with the lines that we've put in. It's done a really nice job around the horns. And because we've got that really sharp line there, you can sort of see the topology is not perfect. Here, around here, it's getting a little bit confused as to what to do. This is not proper animation topology. This is not the mesh that we need to animate. This is a sculpting base mesh, so that's plenty enough for us to work with and, and take a long way without getting a lot of weird artifacts and stuff like that. We can certainly just sharpen up these edges and polish it all up a lot more and get into sort of some of the details. And we're not getting those lumpy forms, as you can see, even just relaxing out areas like that. It's going to be pretty easy now to be able to grab the mesh and just sort of get rid of some of these forms. Plus, when we're back in Maya, we could, you know, clean it up even further with a, a manual Retopology, usually the manual retopology, your meshes should get a lot better. But we just want to get to that base shape and sort of do our quick concept sculpt so we can render it in Maya. We're not going to be animating this mesh, but you could certainly create your own base mesh by quad drawing and get a really nice, super clean mesh. You could animate this really quickly and put some joints in there in Maya. It's totally possible, but it's just a bit nasty. But with props and stuff like that, totally this will work, especially if the props are quite small and in the background, this will be plenty good enough. So we want to start putting in all the details now onto this mesh. So I'll do that and we'll come in and we'll just tighten this mesh up a lot from here. All right, so it's really worth hounding on about this, that the big aim here is to get to this base mesh as quickly as possible. And once we've got to this base mesh, then we can add the details. Now, the better our base mesh, the easier everything is from here. So I've spent quite a lot of time with this sort of process of technically going backwards and forwards. And a lot of people just go, hey, Dynamesh, just don't worry about it. 
but this is going to make everything from here a lot easier, especially when we get into those really nitty gritty details and it just makes everything a joy from here. So you really want to be in that mindset of keeping things simple, keeping the base mesh low and really having some self-discipline for a while until we're really ready to commit now. And we've got our, what's called a base mesh, a sculpt base mesh in and done. And now we're ready to do the detailing. So it'll be actually really easy from here. So I'm just going to come through and just check out this, this line here, just smooth it off a little bit. Just make sure that's okay. It would be good. The other thing that we probably would do here, if I was doing this absolutely correctly, is you might do a UV unwrap here. Just for the sake of this tutorial, I want to keep all the UVs in the poly painting in one tutorial. So we're just going to continue on our merry way and forget about UVs for now. We just want to keep pure concept sculpting because if you're not doing texturing in ZBrush, then why even bother? Just export the gray model back into Maya. Do your manual retopology and then you should be texturing from that point on, from the, the base mesh that you create in Maya. But if you're just doing concepting and you want a quick rough sketch, that's what the next class will be about.